Welcome to another instructional video from Everlast Refiner. In this video I will show you how to install a uh, Everlast Refiner bypass oil filtration system on a 1999 Peterbilt dump truck with a Caterpillar C12 engine. In this video I will be showing you how to install a number 40 Everlast Refiner bypass oil filtration system this uh, system is equipped with a 12 volt DC thermal dehydrator and uh, this kit contains everything necessary to completely install this refiner system including all consumable materials first we're going to install the mounting brackets and the oil refiner canister uh, the first step is to uh, reposition the wiring harness that is located on the driver's side of the firewall. First reposition the, uh, the wiring harness by removing the existing clamp and moving the entire wire harness assembly to the inboard side of the cab. Install the mounting brackets on the engine compartment firewall using the self-tapping screws provided in the hardware kit. Locate the brackets so that there is sufficient room to remove the refiner lid once it is installed. There is limited vertical space in this installation. Next, install the refiner canister using the mounting brackets with the 1 quarter 20 by 1 and a half inch bolts, lock washers, and nuts provided. Orient the 3 quarter inch return port on the side of the oil refiner canister toward the passenger side of the engine compartment. Next we're going to install the engine oil return line. Uh, first, using the thread sealing compound provided, connect the non-swivel end of the 3 quarter inch return hose assembly to the 3 quarter inch return port on the side of the oil refiner canister. Route the engine oil return line assembly to the passenger side of the oil pan in such a way as to keep clear of the turbocharger and the exhaust pipe. This engine oil return line assembly returns oil to the oil pan by gravity so the uh, hose assembly must go downhill all the way to the oil pan connection. At no point in the routing of the return hose assembly should it go dramatically uphill. Next, remove the plug from the accessory port on the forward side of the engine oil pan and drain the engine oil. Using the thread sealant compound provided, install the oil pan adapter fitting and connect the swivel end of the return hose assembly to the oil pan. Secure the routing of the engine oil return line assembly as required with the provided tie wraps replace the engine oil and check the leak. Next we're going to install the engine oil supply line. Using the thread sealant compound provided, install the valve assembly provided in the installation kit onto the inlet port located on the bottom of the oil refiner canister and orient it as shown. There are two valves in this assembly. The valve on the side with the 90 degree street elbow and plug is provided to accommodate engine oil sampling. The valve on the bottom of the uh, assembly is for regulating the incoming flow rate of motor oil into the oil refiner canister. Next, using the thread sealing compound provided, install the non swivel end of the 1 quarter inch engine oil supply line onto the uh, incoming regulating valve just installed. Route this line down and forward along the driver's side frame rail. Next, at the engine driven air compressor on the driver's side of the engine, remove the oil sampling port plug located on the air compressor housing. Using the thread sealing compound provided, install the 1 8 inch 90 degree street elbow provided in the kit and orient it upward. Next, using the thread sealant compound provided, install the swivel end of the 1 quarter inch engine oil supply line onto the 90 degree street elbow just installed. 
Secure the routing of this hose with the tie wraps provided. Next, we're going to establish the electrical connections to the uh, heated lid assembly of the thermal dehydrator located on the top of the oil refiner canister. First, drill a one quarter inch hole through the firewall adjacent to the air distribution block located on the driver's side of the firewall. Route the red power wire assembly through the hole just drilled from the cab into the engine compartment and route this uh, power wire assembly up and attach the end to one of the posts on the uh, heated lid assembly. It does not matter which this uh, heating element is not polarity sensitive and just requires power and ground. Next, install the ground wire assembly provided in the kit. Attach one end to the remaining post on the heated lid assembly and the other end to one of the uh, oil refiner canister mounting bolts. Next, Back at the power distribution panel, install the inline fuse using the blue butt connector provided on the remaining end of the inline fuse assembly. Install the blue spade connector provided in the kit and insert it into the fuse slot located in the upper right hand corner of the power distribution panel. It's occupied by a 15 amp fuse as shown. Next, secure the wire routing with the tie wraps provided. Now it's time to operationally check the system and set the flow rate. First, remove the heated lid using a rag or a glove. Um, this lid has a heating element in it and gets reasonably hot. Not hot enough to burn you, but you wouldn't want to hold on to it for very long. Start the engine and watch for oil flow across the dispersion plate. This will take several minutes so be patient. Opening the regulator valve on the bottom of the oil refiner canister fully and running the engine at high idle will help speed this process up. Now once the oil is flowing, adjust the regulator valve so that a slow even flow of oil covers the step dispersion plate at idle. Once this is established, run the engine at high idle to ensure that the can will not overflow. If you notice the canister filling up, readjust the regulator valve on the bottom of the oil refiner canister to slow the flow rate. For this application, one half turn open of the flow uh, regulator valve is the normal setting. Uh, return the engine to idle. Um, Reinstall the heated lid using a rag or a glove. Install the washer and wing nut provided and hand tight is fine. And that's it. Uh, the Everlast Refiner Bypass Oil Filtration System is installed and the flow rate is established. Maintenance. Now we're going to discuss how to maintain the uh, the Everlast Refiner Bypass Oil Filtration System. Uh, first, uh, you have to check your oil level and dispersion plate flow rate regularly. Take oil samples every 20,000 miles. Replace the uh, filter element as required whenever you notice a significant reduction in the oil flow rate across the dispersion plate or you get an oil sample report that indicates that it's time for a replacement or finally foregoing all of that um, replace your filter every year. Oil analysis. Um, to address any questions you may have about your oil sample results uh, please go to the link shown here or for uh, direct assistance please contact our technical support um, at the, the link provided. Now, how does it work? Well, if you have any questions about how the Everlast Refiner Bypass Oil Filtration System actually works to preserve the uh, condition and quality of your motor oil, please go to the link provided. There's a thorough description here and a, a short video which explains in detail 
how the uh, oil refining process works. Finally, uh, for any technical support questions, uh, please contact the link shown here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please uh, keep coming back uh, to uh, view additional videos uh, from Everlast Refiner. Thank you.